Hello everyone, uh, today we're gonna create some real nice thumbnails like you're seeing on the screen right now. So let's get into it. Now that we're in Photoshop, let's create a new document. Make it 1920 by 1080 and have the resolution at 72. And make the background color black and let's create it. Okay, so for background, um, let's just find a Fortnite wallpaper. So I found this one. Let's copy it and paste it into Photoshop. Uh, press Ctrl and U and drag down the saturation to make it black and white. Then you want to make a new layer. Press the grid in tool. Make the black part uh, a light blue. So like this. And the other one, a really dark blue. From the right side, kind of the middle, just drag out. Till you're happy with the gradient. Then select the gradient layer and make it the blending mode hard light. Uh, for the next step, Let's go to Google and fnbr.co uh, and find a skin you want to use. Uh, I want to use this one, so so I want to use this one. Uh, you can either copy it or save it. Paste it back into Photoshop. Press W for the wand tool. Click on the black background and delete. Now let's press Ctrl and T, this way you can transform the layer. Uh, I like to make it a lot bigger, because uh, you want to make it visible in the thumbnail. So, kind of like this. And press the check mark when you're done. Now let's go back to our background layer, go to Filter. Blur and Gaussian Blur and make the blur radius like 5.8 around 5 or 6 um, and then go back to our uh, character layer go to the blur tool make it around 300 and strength at 100% this will blur where you paint in Then you want to create a new layer over the character. Right click and make it a clipping mask. Then go back to our um, brush tool. You can press Alt and right click and drag to the sides to sh change the size. Um, have it on black. Just paint in around the corners. Just like this. Uh, change the white. Make the brush a little bit smaller. And make the blending mode soft light. Then you can drag down the fill to around 60%. Nice. Let's make a new layer under Clipping Mask. Uh, press Alt and choose a color from the background. Just paint in around the corners. And this way it will fit in even more. Uh, then make it the blending mode hard light and drag down the fill. Then you want to create a new layer under the character. Uh, then pick a color, more of a blue color from the background. Uh, make the brush size a little bit bigger. And then one stroke behind the character. And let's make it the uh, blending mode linear dodge. Create a new layer, uh, make the color white and make it a medium brush. Paint around the character and make it soft light. We can drag down the fill a little bit. 
uh, create another layer. Uh, still have the white and make the brush size smaller. So now we're gonna add some text. So click on text tool and we're gonna use the font Burbank Big Condensed. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in the description below and type out what you want it to say. Make sure the color is a light blue or almost gray, blue, whitish. Move it where you want it to be. Make the second line a light blue color. Just like that. And the third, the same white color. You can use Ctrl and T to re resize it to a fit. Select all of the text layers and you can group them. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller and tilt it to the right. We're quite not yet finished, but I like to add the color correction now. So open up the uh, jelly pack. Uh, I also have a link for that in the description. Go to the CC and drag the whole folder. Can hide the example. So open up CC4, CC3, and CC2. Drag down the fill on CC4 to about 25%. And the CC3 to around 54, 55. Okay, so let's add some basic effects to our text. Um, cl double click on our text group. Uh, click on bevel and boss. Uh, the size on three. Uh, the style on inner bevel. Ah, just copy these settings. Then go down to drop shadow. I uh, have the blending mode on hard light and the color on a dark blue. And just uh, mess around with these settings. Okay, so let's create a new layer over the group and make it a clipping mask. Uh, select the brush tool, make the brush size a lot bigger and set a dark blue from the background using the ALT key. Make it the blending mode hard light and drag down the fill. Create a new layer. Go to the gradient tool, double click and set the first preset. And be sure to have it on a circle mode, I don't know what to call it, and uh, reverse it. From the middle of the text, just drag outwards. Just like that, and make it a blending mode soft light. Make it overlay instead, and drag down the opacity. Create a new layer over the clipper masks. Select the brush tool, and select a blue color from the text. One stroke and make it the blending mode screen. Now take the eraser tool and remove the excess glow. Now let's drag down the opacity. Now let's create a vignette. So create a new layer. Uh, select the brush tool and select the dark blue from the background. Just paint around the edges. Like this. Uh, 
and make it the blend mode hard light and mess with the fill and opacity so let's add some uh, additional effects so go to the inverse pack uh, link in the description go down to resources and we're gonna use these two so select them and drag them drag them to your your thumbnail let's start with these lines yes Control T and make them a lot bigger then go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and have the radius on 3.5 and then use our brush tool and make it all bigger just erase around the edges for the cloud we can make it a little bit bigger then go to filter blur Gaussian blur and have it on around 9 or 10 so drag the cloud stock uh, below our text group but over our character and place it create a new clippy mask go to our brush tool just paint around the edges make it the blending mode hard light drag down the opacity so let's duplicate it by pressing ctrl and j drag it to the side and drag it below our character it's like that and create a new clippy mask over it okay so under and uh, the first cloud create a new layer and uh, pick a color from the text I just paint around and make it a glow and change the color blending mode to screen we're also using this lighting stock uh, I also have that in the description so make it a lot bigger you could then go to filter blur Gaussian blur and have that around six then just position it to your liking So now we've created a really nice thumbnail and you can use these methods uh, to create uh, other thumbnails for example for uh, Apex or Call of Duty. Uh, it's all up to you.